Good morning, this is Saturday, June 26th, and today's devotion is Drawing on the Grace of God Now. This is 2 Corinthians 6. We plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. The grace you had yesterday will not suffice for today. Grace is the overflowing favor of God, and you can always count on it, being available right now, being new, and draw upon it as needed. In much patience, and tribulation, in needs, and distress, that's 2 Corinthians, that is where our patience is tested. Are you failing to rely on the grace of God as you're in those moments, those moments of uh, tribulation, and, and e when you're in need, when you're in distress? Are we failing to draw on the grace of God when we're in the midst of those times? Are you saying to yourself, oh well, I won't count this time, I'll just get through it. It's not a question of praying and asking God to help you. It's a question of you right now taking the grace of God, right now. We tend to make prayer the preparation for our service, yet it is never that in the Bible. Prayer is the practice of drawing on the grace of God. Isn't it a wonderful statement? Prayer is the practice of drawing upon the grace of God. Every time we go to God in prayer with a request or whatever to say thanks, we draw upon His grace to get there. Don't say, I will endure this until I can get away and pray. Don't do that. Pray now. I've heard, say, I've heard people say that uh, when they're in distress and they're going through a hard time. They say, finally, I, I just had to pray. It always makes me scratch my head. What do you mean, finally? And you just had to. That should be our first step. When we are in the midst of a situation, our first step should be prayer. That's what he's saying. Don't say, I will endure this until I can get away and pray. Pray right now. Draw on the grace of God in your moment of need right now. Prayer is the most normal and useful thing. It is not simply a reflex action of your devotion to God. We are very slow to learn to draw on God's grace through prayer. You have to ask us, do you pray regular? Or is it just something you practice at church when the pastor prays or however it happens to come about at your service? Is that the only time you pray? Or do you really take time to pray and ask the Lord to be with you? Paul talks about walking in an attitude of prayer. Do you pray more than just once a week? I hope you do. We are very slow to learn to draw on God's grace through prayer. This is Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 6. 6 in stripes and imprisonments and tumults and labors, I know to pray. In all these things, display in your life a drawing upon the grace of God through prayer. And let others see it. Don't try to hide the light. When we go to the Lord in prayer and draw upon His grace in those moments, His light can be revealed through our lives and others can see it and be changed. Let, drawing upon the grace of God will show evidence to yourself and to others that you are His miracle. You're His miracle. Isn't that amazing? You're His miracle. Draw on His grace now, not later. The primary word in the spiritual vocabulary is now. Let circumstances take you where they will, but keep drawing on the grace of God in whatever condition you may find yourself. One of the greatest proofs that you are drawing on the grace of God is that you can be totally humiliated before others without displaying even the slightest trace of anything but His grace. And if you were here last Sunday, you heard one of my stories about picking up trash. And it was God's grace that walked me through that. It was a powerful time. Have nothing. See God's grace when you have nothing. Never hold anything in reserve. Pour yourself out, give Him the best that you have, and always be poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Never be diplomatic and careful with the treasures that God's give you, given you, and yet possessing all things. That's the poverty triumphant. In other words, we are poor within ourselves, but we're rich within the Lord. The challenge I have for us today is a fun one. Would you celebrate God's grace to you? Just take some time today and go to the Father and thank Him for the grace. It's a wonderful thing. We all sing that song, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound That Saved a Wretch Like Me. Sing that song today. Find it on YouTube or somewhere and sing that song and celebrate the grace of God in your life. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your grace. It, uh, it changed a wretch like me. So, Father, we pray today that you would remind us of your grace. In the midst of all things, we can pray and come into your grace. And as we come into your grace, we can enter your throne room. So, Father, we pray today that you would remind us of this wonderful, 
wonderful gift of grace that changed our lives. It brought us from sin to a forgiven state in which we stand now with you because of your Son. So thank you again for your grace, Lord. We love you and we give you this day. And may we stand in your grace. In Christ's name, amen. God bless and I'll see you tomorrow at church.